Hey, what's going on guys? Alex Mzuga here from Mr. Build It, and in today's video, we refinished our deck. Hard to believe this used to be orange. We stripped it, got it all ready for the new stain, and got it all done. Big thanks to the Handy Paint Product Company for partnering with us. Let's not waste any more time, and let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, folks, so this is the deck that we stained exactly two years ago. There's a product called Cabot. It's an outdoor oil-based stain. Two things we didn't like about it. Number one, it only lasted two years, and number two, it was a little too orange. The the sample piece that was in the store did not look anything like the actual product itself once we laid it on the wood. A little too orange and it was too late to turn back. So we decided to give it a go with the hopes that it'll settle down and it did. So in this situation, we're gonna strip it all down and start from scratch all over again. Now the first step is probably one of the funnest steps and that's cleaning your deck. Here I'm using a 3100 PSI pressure washer with a nice wide spray nozzle tip. I'm gonna get rid of all the gunk and debris that was left over the winter and get this deck nice, primed and ready to go. All right, guys, as you can see, the deck is all pressure washed and ready for us to work with. I got a couple of products here. We have our Bare Premium Deck and Stain Remover. First time using this product, so we're really excited about trying it. Uh, a couple of products, this video is sponsored by the Handy Paint Product Company. Uh, really excited, they sent us a couple of these new things. This is the Handy Paint Pail. Makes it nice, easy, and convenient to hold it like that without hurting your fingers. Got a liner that goes right in there. We have the Handy Pail itself here. Nice, rigid form, got grips on the sides, and we have a magnetic attachment right here to the front for your paintbrush. Really slick, never seen that before. So a big thank you to today's sponsor. Now, a couple other safety features. You wanna use some grip gloves. Uh, you wanna avoid the stuff getting on your hands. Use a respirator, that's what the directions say. We're gonna give that a try and make sure we're keeping ourselves safe. And as far as applications, a foam brush they want, make sure it's poly blends as well as an oil-based stain uh, paintbrush here. This is specifically meant for decks. So we're gonna pour it in here. The directions say do not use it in direct sunlight, which we're avoiding it. The directions say make sure you have a water hose nearby to not let the stuff dry on. You want to keep it moist. And lastly, just says put on a liberal amount, which is easy for me to do. So uh, let's get started. Let's go. Now, typically when it comes to restaining your deck, it involves adding one fresh coat of stain after two or three years to freshen the area up. If that's the situation that you're in, you don't need a stain stripper, you need a deck stain cleaner. And all that does is decreases the area and gets it primed and ready for the fresh coat of stain. Now, in our situation, we wanna start from ground up, so we need to strip this color. The chemical that I'm using is advertised to work best between 15 and 45 minutes of dwell time to allow the chemical to start releasing the stain. Now, the hardest part is not allowing the chemical to dry. So what you wanna do is walk around with a, a mist setting on your garden hose and lightly fan the area, not overwatering it and diluting it, but just keeping it moist and activated. Once that's done and you will start seeing a filament rise to the top, it'll also start frothing as you're rolling your roller around. Once you see that, you're ready to start washing it off with a pressure washer. When it comes to pressure washing and rinsing off the chemicals, really try avoiding running the spray nozzle side to side of the boards. Instead, try to run it with the grain along the boards. This will prevent any kind of tear outs or damage to the wood. Now, the best piece of safety advice I'll tell you is learn from my mistakes. It's a good idea to put on some long sleeve clothing along with a hat. What I found to be true is this chemical basically acts like Nair hair remover, where it's kind of almost like an acid. So definitely wear goggles, definitely wear a respirator, and for sure put on a hat and uh, maybe some long sleeves to really save you some burn marks later. All right guys, so this is the first time I've used the deck stripper from Bear. Uh, to give you a little feedback on it, it worked okay, and what I mean by it is the instruction said, put a liberal amount, make sure it doesn't dry, keep it moist, and then between 15 and 45 minutes, that's when it starts acting, it, you can start using a pressure washer, holding the nozzle at least 24 inches away of the surface and wiping, kind of cleaning off, pressure washing off the previous stain. I did that, I didn't see a lot of material moving, so I decided to bring the nozzle a lot closer. It worked well way better, but the kicker is this. After pressurizing the raw wood that close, it left a little fuzzy filament. I'll do a little close up here for you guys. And I know that's gonna be a problem when it comes to putting the new stain on. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my sander, it's set on rotary mode, which just means it goes in a circle as opposed to the oscillating mode like most traditional sanders have. And then I'm using 80 grit to go through. And, and so far it's turned out really smooth. This is still the area I need to go over. If you don't have a fancy sander like this, you can just get an angle grinder and put an attachment wheel with an 80 grit sanding pad on it. And then you can do the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna finish this up and then we'll get ready to put the new stain on. 
After all the sanding is done, use a leaf blower to dust off and freshen up the area. It's a good idea to wear a respirator with this. There's a lot of these chemicals out there that can be really harmful to your lungs, so make sure you take care of yourself. When it comes to my new stain, I decided to try some products from Bayer. This particular product, I decided to get the premium version, mostly because they're saying that the stain can last a lot longer. They're saying that on decks, it'll last four years instead of two, and on fences, it'll last eight years. I'm really curious to try. I did stay within the semi-transparent family for one reason specifically. I know that stain tends to either rub off and phase or chip like a solid paint stain. So in my situation, I think I'd rather reapply an extra coat as opposed to having to re-sand the chip surfaces or even strip the area again. Once I applied two coats to the deck and one coat to the actual pergola itself, I let the product dry overnight before starting to walk on it. Now when it comes to actually rolling the stuff on, typically just like woodworking, the recommendations always apply with the grain itself. But in my situation, I tried going side to side or against the grain, if you will, and I didn't see any change in quality. So this stuff is pretty strong, it's pretty durable, and I'm really curious to let you guys know how this lasts in two years, and even better, if it lasts four years, how they promise it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Hopefully it'll help somebody else tackling their deck project this year. And subscribe if you haven't. A couple other videos for you guys to check out right over here. I'll put a link in the description of all the products I use. Big thank you to the Handy Paint Product Company for partnering with us. Tune in out this week. We'll see you guys next week. See ya, bye.